Thank you for joining us in this episode of The Rediscovery Effect. I am Bobby. Thank you for joining us today. Our guest is Linda. Yes. So, Linda, can you tell us what the name of your business is here? It's called The Bookseller. We're located in the basement of the Central Library on Soledad Street. Okay. And the big orange building downtown, you can't miss it in San Antonio. Yeah. Orange, purple, and yellow, I think. Many colors. It's yeah. bright. Again, you can't miss it. Um, so how did you get started in the business here at the bookseller? Oh, I'm a volunteer. I'm, uh, the bookseller is actually maintained by the Friends of the San Antonio Public Libraries. It's an organization that supports the library, or all of the libraries in the, c in the group. Um, and I joined as a member and um, was an officer for several years. And then my greatest joy, because I am a librarian, uh, is to work with books. So, so I started working in the library bookstore seven years ago, part-time employees. And uh, one of them is our manager, and one is the person who lists books for Amazon. So we do have a small presence on Amazon also. Okay, so you sell on Amazon as mm -hmm. well. And that's more of a, a specific type of book or collection? It's, no, it's more of uh, the price. Uh, there's a greater market out there in the universe, so if we have a book that we want to offer for $100 or $75, something like that, we would put it on Amazon first, knowing that there are more people out there right. that it will reach. And here, uh, although we do have customers from um, Austin, New Braunfels, Bernie, places like that, and tourists that come in, um, we have fewer fewer eyes on the book, so right. we... Just a smaller we, physical yeah. presence. No, Amazon uh, definitely is a way to get to get it out there. Um, so you mentioned there's only two paid employees, so then you, you are volunteer and most of the staff is oh, volunteer? Right. All, all the staff, all is, staff volunteer. is volunteer. Okay. Well, since you're volunteers and you're not getting paid to be here, how do you stay motivated to do this every day? Oh, well, it's if you work here, it's like Christmas. So uh, we get our stock we don't buy anything. We get our stock from the books that are called from the libraries, all of them, and also from public donations. So when people are moving or someone in their family passes away, what do you do with the books? You know, it kills people to throw books away. Right. So uh, they donate them to us. Okay. And um, from looking around, it looks like you don't just have books, but you have a lot of other types of media. What all do you have here? We have music on CD. We have movies, uh, children's movies and adult movies. Uh, we have books on CD. Um, and quite a collection of those, it looks like. Yeah, we do, and, and for all age groups. So next time you're stuck in I-35 on traffic, make sure you come here and get a book on CD to listen to while you wait. Yes. Um, so I know you mentioned that that your collections come from the entire City of San Antonio library system. So why are you only in this location? Well, we have the room and the space. The branches, each of the branch libraries, uh, have a, a group of friends that work in their individual library. And depending upon the branch, they have a different space allotment. So one branch, uh, say I go, um, has the, the has a hall, and they have quite a bit of uh, they have quite a few donations from their public, but they have the room to to display more. And another library, some small one might have just a cart, a book cart. Like you, um, you here at the bookseller actually take up a pretty big section of the basement of, of this library. Right, we have between 20 and 40,000 uh, volumes here. And uh, they change all the time. And uh, we, have, we have something for everybody. I mean, we, we, I think the customers that we enjoy the most are New teachers that have to uh, 
develop a small library for their room. Uh, we have all the downtowners, the people that just walk over. Um, we have crafters, people who want another book on whatever their craft may be. We have students and adults that want to read the class. Being in central kind of downtown San Antonio, what's your favorite thing about being located in this neighborhood? Well, since I'm a bus rider, it's easy to get to. Okay, that's a great and, point. Yeah, uh, people who say, oh, I, I, I'd get lost if I had to drive down there. If they use the bus system, I mean, I know my bus and probably five or six others park right outside the library. Mm -hmm. There's a covered area where you sit. And I catch the bus across the street in front of the hospital. And, and if you're elderly, uh, you have a bus pass that, that lets you ride free certain days and very, very cheap the, uh, the rest of the time. So well, that sounds like yeah. a win-win for, for everybody. Um, and obviously, you and I were discussing the construction around here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what That's are some the hard part. Yes, it does make it a challenge to find somewhere to park or just to drive in here. Um, so what are some of the, the big changes that you've seen going on around here? Uh, downtown? Yes, downtown. Well, right now, we just finished, or the, the building was just repainted, and it had you know three or four coats, so that took quite a while. And uh, now the streets are torn up, but you still can get in. And we do have three hours free parking if they take the parking ticket and put it in the little machine upstairs, so. So what, um, if you can recall, since you've been, I think you said seven years, you've mm -hmm. been here, in that time period, what would you say is probably the most memorable thing somebody has said to you about the business here in the bookseller? <laughs> memorable. Hmm. And that can be a good thing or a bad I thing. I think it's just wonderful to see people who don't have a lot of money and wouldn't spend that money at a uh, completely brand new bookstore. Uh, don't want to mention any names, but uh, we're the cheapest place in town that I can think of, and you get more for your money, and it makes makes us really happy to see uh, people come in as a family and everybody can get books mm -hmm. and they're not bankrupt when they leave. Right, and everybody's happy because everybody has something. Yeah, I mean. And, and what a great way to instill a sense of reading and wonder and adventure in children. Absolutely, and here, I mean, we have 10 cent books. We even have some free books, but we have a lot of 10 cent books for children and they can, you know, the parents can say, well, just pick a few mm -hmm. and not and not feel embarrassed when they try to check out because right. they know they can cover sure. the price. Yeah, that's fabulous. That's that is um and and what a what a gift to be able to give to those children and those families. Um, so being that we are a very local business in San Antonio, why do you think it's so important for people to spend their money locally? Helps the taxes, helps the city, uh well, and we're recycling. I mean, what we do keeps books from the landfill. Mm -hmm. um, it helps. It helps uh, educating the kids and and the adults. It makes for a smarter population. You know, That's they a great answer. they can learn. They can learn about anything, and it, it can be at their level. That, that's a great point, um, and I'm glad you brought up recycling. I'm a huge recycler myself. I uh, always have more more in my recycle bin than I do in my trash bin, and I would love to encourage everyone out there watching to also recycle. It, uh, you know, resources are finite. Let's do our part. Um, and lastly, how can the public best reach you here? They can call us. We are currently we're open to the public Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays from 11 to 4. People making donations, they can uh, call us and we'll talk to them and uh, arrange a time when they can. Usually it's just call us when you get here and we'll uh, come up and get the book. And call us and our number is 210-227-1000.
9519. Uh, they can read about us on the internet. Do you have, for the bookseller, do you have a Facebook page? We have a Facebook page, yes, and you can get there by bookseller.com or you can come in through the library's uh, website. Okay, and, and, and they're linked to yeah. the, the City of San Antonio Library website. Okay, is there anything else you want to mention while we're in here? Well, we just love more people to know about us. We've been here 25 years, more than 25 years, and uh, we are the best kept secret. But uh, we have something for, for everybody, literally. And our prices are quite reasonable. And I guess that's it. That's great information. So you know where to come when you need a book if you're trying to gift, um, especially for, for those teachers out there that we all know are on fixed budgets, not only due to their salaries, but due to the school budgets. So um, come pick up some supplies and, and help your teachers. That would be a wonderful thing to give this, uh, this school year. Uh, thank you for watching today's episode. Again, I am Bobby Owens with Remax North. If you need help with any real estate in the downtown area, please let me know what I can do for you. Thanks. Until next time.